Imagine with commiserations from 3-0 and 4-1 down, what a fight you made of it to get to 7-all. But he was just too strong today. Tell us how proud you are, not just of your performance today, but all week you have fought so hard. Um, yeah, so it's very, very good the week. Uh, start from the first match. And then uh, I know it's going to be very tough tonight. Um, I missed a couple of shots and two to win a frames in the first sessions and didn't doing well. But uh, I think it was, it's a it's hard match now, so I, I, I try to get more points uh, to fight one frame first and then win another frame and see what, what happens in the first, first eight frame. So 4-4 uh, is not too bad, but uh, he played better than tonight. You nearly didn't play at all, Jimmy. You were so unwell here last Saturday. How close to pulling out of this championship really were you? I would remember in my life <laughs> disappointed if not playing this uh, tournament. Um, that's why I'm trying to play. So, Well, what a fight you've made of it. And tell us about the confidence levels and what you've learned about yourself this week. Very rarely do we see you beating your chest and showing such emotion. Do we like this side of Ding Jun Wei? <laughs> I like it. I like myself to uh, play like this, and uh, it's, it's very cool, uh, it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we think you're pretty cool too. And finally, it's a venue and it's a championship. I know you love here in York. What do you want to say to this crowd who really have taken you to their hearts? Not just today, but ever since 2005 here. Yes, uh, really, I really take them hard. So, very uh, thanks for um, every game to support. Um, I love here, love everyone. Two finals in a row, come back next year, make it a hat trick. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Ronnie, champion again. Absolutely amazing achievement. What more can we say here? But when you look back over the last few days, the heart and the fight that this man has shown, and he's one of your great pals in this game, what yeah. would you like to say about the spirited performance he put up tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, he's played fantastic all week. You know, I've been watching his games, and, you know, his, his cue ball control is the best ever. He's, ne he's just never out. It's like watching a like, computer, you know? When you see a computer, it's just everywhere you want it. You know, it's just... Um, it's a pleasure to play Ding. You know, he's such a... A good, good, good man now. You know, he's a boy when I first started playing, but he's a man now. You know, he's a father. Um, a credit to China. You know, all the Chinese lads that come on the tour, they're, they're so polite, so nice. And Ding is, I call him the godfather of Chinese yes. snook, you know, because, you know, he, he, he paved the way for everybody else, you know, to, to believe that they could come here and, um, and do it, you know. So Ding's a, a massive inspiration to all the snooker players, you know, and, um, you know, listen, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Ding, and it's an honour to play him in the final. I know there's probably millions and millions of people watching in China, so for me, it's a, a fantastic experience. The crowd here have been fantastic all week. Um, I, love, I love playing every minute here, um, and it's just, it's just good. Yeah, yeah, I've had a good week. Ronnie, I can chuck a whole bunch of numbers at you. It's an eighth UK crown. It's a 22nd major. It's a 40th world ranking title. And you're still number one. But what can you tell me? What gives you the greatest pleasure about winning this one? The greatest pleasure about winning this one 30 years after your first time? Um, I don't know. Each tournament I win and play, and I get, I get great pleasure out of. You know, um, you know, I've played great all season. You know, the two tournaments that I've won, I've probably not played my best stuff. In the other tournaments that I played in, I've played really well, not won them. So it just shows you what a strange game this is. You know, tonight I just had to come out and just. Just have a good head. I thought, you know, if I'm going to lose, just make Ding earn it. You know, um, the cr big crowd here, everyone's watching. This, you know, give them their money's worth. You know, leave blood, sweat and tears on the table. If I, if I don't win, you know, that's just one of the things. But I come out here and I give it my all. And I just love competing. And, I, you know, I love to compete with Ding tonight, you know. It's a kind of full circle moment, Ronnie, because not only were you the youngest winner of this event, you're now the oldest. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I mean, I, I always keep beating myself up because of the age thing. You know, I keep thinking at some point, you know, it's got to stop. I've got to stop winning at some point. But I keep keep doing all right, you know. So I keep, I keep going until the... Uh, Till the wheels fall off, you know? Well, they're not looking like they're falling off anytime soon. Here he is, the man who is still cutting the mustard, as you like to say, all these years later. Mr. O'Sullivan, an eight-time champion. <laughs>